How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays, and today we're continuing in Those Who Remain, and that was just dumb. Oh, boy, was that dumb. Okay. Going down the stairs, right, going into this glowing room where everything's all funky dunky up here. Everything's upside down, actually. Maybe? I don't remember if the things was there, but I have a lever that I can open. That opened the door. Oh, no, I didn't read the note. No, run back. I gotta read the note still. Huh? Out of the way. Tragedy and Dormant. One year ago, Dormant was left in shock. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, we actually knew that. Dad, is this the same girl I just saw? Oh, so now I gotta get out of this shadow space where everything's floating and also on fire. Okay. Oh, hello. How do you do, good sir? I don't exist. Yet I'm here. Okay. Hello? Who are you? What do you want from me? You gonna... You're gonna say anything, you're just gonna keep rocking your what looks like a comfortable chair with your feet in the grass. Actually, you're wearing shoes, so they're not actually in the grass. It is a nice feeling, though, walking around barefoot in grass, I have to say. Go ahead and just shove some books out of her way. Investigate the library. Uh, do I want to investigate the shadow library, or do I want to actually investigate the library library? Oh, there you go. Now I can go... Ooh, is there anything here? No, just a glowing door. It's very bright. Okay, so we are safe here now. And by safe, I mean relatively. The naked light monster is still there, patrolling, looking for me. Coming back this way. All right, cool. I have to go back, I have to go where it is. I, okay, cool, it turned the corner. Hey, we made it through here, safe and sound. Yeah, okay, so this is available again, or this area is open now. Oh, is it going to drop down now? Oh, no, it's still above me. Cool. So that opens up this. What door did it open? Oh, what the hell was that sound? Oh, it's still above me. Did that open up this door over here? Hey, Julius Caesar, how you doing? Uh, Hawk Imperi Ex Mortis. I think that means death and something about death. My Latin is very rusty and by rusty, I mean not existent at all. I only know like a very few Latin words. Oh, these pictures are all skewed and that's actually annoying me. Oh, okay. Water torture. All right. Uh, drawn and qu uh, quartering. Uh, okay. The, yeah, this, this is not a good spot for a library. Oh, there you go. There's a guy just reading. It's peaceful after what we just saw. Can't light the candle because I don't have a lighter because I dropped it. These paintings. Some kind of cult? It seems like it. Oh, this definitely seems very cultish. Also, they have a bug issue, it seems, that are just phasing through papers. Dazek, the Demon of Vengeance, also known as the Lord of Darkness. It's not clear where Dazek came from. Some scriptures mention he was a fallen angel. 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 Wow. Others say he was created in Avernus, the infernal regions, the lower world. He was always attracted by injustices, particularly by the death of innocence. Whenever that happened, Dazek took great pleasure in punishing the guilty, slowly playing with their emotions while trapping them in an enclosed area. The interesting fact is he didn't judge the guilty. According to the scriptures, he always chose someone else to decide their fate. Oh, God, bright. Okay, well, we found the exit. It's very blinding. That's the one thing I think I dislike about this game. I mean, I understand you want to have it so that it's clearly noticeable, spooky looking even. It's, it's very bright. The Devil's Angels may be of flesh and blood, may they not, by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the guy who wrote Sherlock. Most of Sherlock. There, I think there were some that were written by people who weren't him. There's also, uh, I might be thinking of Shakespeare, where there's the idea that Shakespeare Guess I must go through the house. was a pet, like a, a pseudonym for a group of people who wrote stories. Find a way through the house. Oh, let's try. Led to this place. You really? Because we went through a glowing blue door and we just showed up in there. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. Also, the front door is just wide open. That's good. I'm just going to go ahead and close that. And also, maybe flip on the lights. Nope. Nope, that was the wrong light to turn on. Oh, yes, that was. Uh, okay, so yeah. Try that light. Okay, what if I do it from here? Can I... Okay, that's just hitting that one still. Which actually isn't affecting it here that much. It's locked out. Doubt I'll ever know the password. 
Joke's on you. I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. The uncertain. Uh, okay. Drawers. Let's just start opening them up and see what we can find. Nothing! A painting. Uh, can I pick up like a piece of firewood or something and throw it down the hallway? Oh, oh. There's a box up here or something. Of course not. Why would I be able to interact with that box? That looks interesting. Oh, right. I can't jump up though. That was rude. You didn't even say hi to me. Hello. You, sir, can you hear me? Bad idea or good idea? Okay, good idea. I, I don't know which which lights are going to be death or not. Alright. Uh, D.W. Griffith's Heart of the World. A love story of the Great War. And barrels. Okay, nothing really back there I care about. What about over here? Can I grab the wrench? No. Yes. Okay. No, that's not something I care about. Just chuck that out of the way. Oh, I can't open this one. Yes, I can. Oh, can I open these ones? Oh, I can. Okay. Cool. Doesn't seem like that actually accomplished much of anything, though. Oh, but this one. By itself. Aha! Got the bolt cutters. Great. Uh, I guess we want to talk to that guy that we saw. Uh. Can I talk to him? Oh. I was trying to see if there was a, a, a light switch in there I could turn on. Instead, I just die. And I respawn here, but we know there's nothing over there, so it's not like it's that far. Hello? You, sir? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. So it wasn't because I opened that door. It was because of just him being there. Oop. Chuck that. Oh, that was loud. All right. Bolt cutters. Got him. I can open up this lock over here. Ah, wrong way. Open up this thing over here. Bolt cutters used. Great. All right, so it looks like I can go that way if I can find. No, I don't want to go that way. There at the top of the stairs. Oh, it's a ball though. I can't go through the dark. You ain't kidding. All right, I guess we'll check out this door. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, we gotta go downstairs. Oh, all it takes is one light switch to, one light bulb to go out and I'm, I'm just dead. I'm super dead. Nothing in here. Like the soccer ball? No. Uh, over here. Oh, what's this? A sign or something. There should be a handle. Oh, wow. That's right. Yeah, you're, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, I hate clowns. I hate creepy clowns too. Why is it the numbers on his head though? It looks like a target or something like that. It's not 25 points for a nose shot, 10 for the cheeks, and 15 for the eyebrows maybe? Hmm. That might come in handy. That might be a code or something. It's the thing with games like this, I never know what's a code and what's not. Alright, we are in... First floor. Cool. Uh, can I use this laptop? No, it doesn't tell me a code or anything like that. Uh, this is all upside down. Can't actually find anything in here. Nope. But here. God, it feels weird opening drawers upside down. Nothing in there. The box is all over the place now. Can I go? Oh, I can go in these dark areas now. Without risk of dying and dismemberment and getting attacked by shadow people. There's a lot here to take in. God, dude, this is... I love the idea of this floating stuff. It's really well done. Can't open that up. Nope. Oh, this is a health kit, looks like. Oh, kind of weird. I don't want to go back to the basement with this. I think I do. Yep. Seems like I might want to go in the basement. Is there... No, maybe not. Can't actually... I can't open those up. There's, there's got to be something in this shadow area I can interact with, though. Illuminate the first floor is my goal. Oh, wait, these doors. There's nothing in here, though. Uh, is that something? No, that's just a vase. I saw something green, and I thought that maybe I could interact with it. So there was a shadow person in here. Not right now, though. What about in the garage here? God, oh, oh, I can barely make it through here. Yeah, I can't interact with the doors in the shadow world. Oh, what about upstairs? 
Upstairs seems like the right goal. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's only one door here, so... Good idea to go through this way. Can't... The pictures are... are uh, the correct direction, though. Mark's room, keep out. You in here, Markiplier? What's going on with you, buddy? Oh, I feel like I did the wrong thing here. I feel like I missed something. Because I did not actually illuminate the first floor at all. Let's go ahead back here. Gotta be something somewhere then. Oh, this door? Aha! Glowing thing. Let me get the glowing thing. Mark, come home after school. We don't want you outside after dark. I'll call at 7 p.m. to check if you're home. Quick question though. How is he supposed to get that letter if he's not home? Hmm? Hmm. All right, that's the bathroom. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing. Oh no, no, that's that. That's a green plate. I'm not seeing many things that'll just light up the first floor. Like I'd understand if it was like a circuit breaker or something in the basement. I'm not seeing a circuit breaker. I'm not seeing anything really. Maybe that note's what I needed to hit. Let's go back to Mark's room. Check out what's in here. Oh, 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 turn that on. Okay, so now I could probably go back up over here. Yeah, and now this is all lit up. Mm-hmm. We got it. Awesome. This, In memory of Kenneth, your life was a blessing, your memory a treasure, you were loved beyond words and missed beyond measure. Aw. I guess that was Mark's dad? Hmm. Huh. Oh, oh, there's a light switch. I'm not touching that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Drawers, nothing there. That's a computer. Keep calm and love sports. I can't actually type on that thing. Hmm. Okay, so nothing in this room I care about. Oh, here you go. Here's a note. Mark is having a tough time coping with Kenny's death. Hell, we are all, all are. A father should never have to bury a son, but what else can we do? He doesn't listen. He doesn't want to talk to us. Dr. Vorbeck, oh, a father should never have to bury his son. Oh, so Kenny was Mark's brother. Um, he doesn't listen. He doesn't want to talk to us. Dr. Vobak says he's becoming violent and aggressive. And Lizzie, she tries to hide the pain with pills, spends night and day, day and night in bed. Maybe I should see the psychiatrist too. That's a good idea. Also, how do you, do you really just smush yourself through here to get to your desk? Like this desk should be against this wall instead. This is a pretty bad idea, I feel. Or even like just push it against this wall or something. All right, and I'm always I'm always one for like tweaking up my room and trying to figure out how how to make it most feel like open, but also cozy. Nope, not going that way. Nope, not going that way. All right, let's go check out Mark's room, I guess. Uh, Trick or Treat. It's a really good movie. Seriously, wish we could get a sequel, but doesn't seem like we are. So aside from the short vignette we got for Easter, Motel X. Um, I don't know. Oh, there you go. There's a leg. Turn on. This is some cool posters. I like that one. That one? Not so much. That one's very Halloween-y. <laughs> halloween I <laughs> just realized what I said. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Number one. History class is boring as usual. What do we even need to learn? Old crap. <clears throat> Number two. Saw the weird kid today. I think he lives with his mom outside dormant. Number three. Me, Des, and Hayden spot the new freak while playing football. Her name is Annika. What kind of name is that, really? Anyway, the most amazing thing happened. Des dipped the ball in a puddle of mud and then threw it at the girl. Hit her right in the face. I couldn't believe it. The weirdo ran away crying with mud all over his face. All over her face. Des has a great th throw. I hope he gets that football scholarship. No marks a bit of a dick. Annika did nothing wrong. Des is grounded for the week. Apparently he forgot to close a drawer in the kitchen. Okay. Hayden is helping out his dad in the store. That leaves me with no one to hang out with. I was so bored I decided to follow the geek Annika. She rides her bike through the woods. I guess she really lives outside town. I miss Kenny. Number five. The gang was finally back together again. Hayden found a dead rat and brought it to school. While I distracted Annika, Des and Hayden got her backpack and stuffed the dead rat inside. When she opened the backpack in class, she screamed like a child and started crying. I laughed so hard I almost fell off my chair. Number six. I have a 20-page report to deliver tomorrow. Don't know where to start. Ugh. Number seven. We were sent to the attention today for playing a stupid prank on the weirdo. Me and Hayden will be all right, but Des, he'll be in huge trouble with this crazy father. Anyway, no video games for me for the next 10 days. Great. Well, you're a dick, so that's why. Des was acting strange today. 
I don't know what his father did to him this time, but the punishment must have been really bad. He was wearing long sleeves on a hot day, hiding bruises again. It's all Annika's fault. It's not. It's your fault. Hayden got in a fight with Bobby today. Poor Hayden didn't put up much of a fight. At lunch, I threw a bowl of rice over Annika's head. Everyone laughed at her. We're definitely the coolest kids in school. You're a dick. I really miss Kenny. Number 10. Annika always rides that stupid bike of hers. That thing is asking for a serious prank. Is this the same Annika? Mark was bullying her. Ugh. Alright. So, yeah. Let's see. I'm, I'm guessing Annika is good and might have some kind of connection to... Spirit. Hi. Do you have to just show up like that right now? Annika? Where'd you go? Oh, right. Yeah, bad idea. Where did you go? Where... Yeah, where is she now? Oh, she's down there. Forgive or condemn. Uh, right. Asking here. Oh, there's something. Oh, that's the note. Already checked that note. Uh, where did she go though? Oh, whoa. Where did Annika go? Is the the greatest question right now. Oh, whoa. Was that 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 was probably me? I probably just bumped into something. Oh, nope. I'm gonna close that door now. I can't close that door. I can't close that door. Where did she go? Doubt I'll ever know the password. Yeah, wait, where the hell did she... I can't leave this area. Do I need... Oh, go back this way. Oh, hi, Annika. Decide. decide what? You're not making sense. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Harris, I'm writing this letter in connection with Mark's attendance record. Mark has been absent for five classes out of a possible 16 in the last four weeks. This represents an absence rate of 31%. I'm enclosing a copy of the attendance record for your information. Your child's academic attainment suffers if he continues to miss school frequently, so I'm asking you to ensure that Mark attends regularly in the future. I understand he went through a tough time during the last year, but if he continues to miss classes, he won't be able to improve his grades. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you'd like to discuss this matter further. Yours sincerely, Cindy S. Federicks, head teacher. Okay. Still showing me that Mark and his friends bullied Annika. Oh, there's some noises I'm hearing. Okay. Check the drawers. Nothing here. Oh. Andrea wanted Rosie to learn how to play the piano. She would have been a great pianist. What does this say? This doesn't. This isn't music notes. This is like geometry stuff. Okay. <laughs> Modern art. It is kind of creepy looking. So wait, what do I do though? There's... Why did Annika leave me here? Oh, okay, I can go this way. That's a toothbrush. Whoa! How do I... How do I choose? Oh! This hell? Uh. Okay. Okay, so I can forgive or I can condemn. How do I forgive? How do I choose? All right. So, Mark and his friends bullied Annika. They were dicks. Mark did suffer with, I'm guessing, uh, uh, grief from losing his brother Kenny. But I don't think that excuses. You want me to judge him? Jeez. Alright, um, I think I know everything from what I can see. How do I condemn or how, or forgive? I'm probably going to condemn. Uh, nope, Rosa we already know that. To play the piano. Let's see. A great pianist. Uh, how do I choose? Find more clues about Mark's actions. Um. Oh, hey, up here. Where's she? she? She keeps poofing around. I don't like that. Oh, God. Oh, that's cool. Change. To Mr. and Mrs. Harris, after a few sessions with Mark, you can make a preliminary report, report about psychological status. Be advised this is very preliminary. I recommend more sessions so we can better ascertain what to do. It only took one converse conversation to conclude that Mark had a very strong connection with his brother, Kenny. His death left Mark deeply troubled and behaviorally tra traumatized. When he talks about the time they spent together, he only describes moments of joy and happiness. More than a friend and play partner, Kenny was also Mark's role model. 
Since Kenny's death, Mark is unable to describe a moment of joy. He feels alone and lacking guidance, a vacuum created by his brother's loss. Mark seems to have made new friends to make up for this. From the little time he talked about them, they mostly spend their days doing sports or playing pranks on other kids. I suspect some of these pranks might be a bit violent, although he didn't want to talk too much about the subject. I believe this is the way that Mark found to cope with Kenny's loss. He's projecting that anger on other kids by making them suffer too. Mark is deeply troubled and in need of consoling and guidance. My recommendation is that we schedule two weekly appointments from now on. Sincerely, Dr. Vobak. Didn't take his brother's death well. Yeah, that is for sure. Uh, decide Mark's fate. All right, so back over this way we go. This is not where it is. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 geez, almost ran right into that. There's a Marky here who was a sweet boy before his brother died. It was only after that he became a heartless bully who loved to see others in pain. But the fact remains that Annika is dead because of it. So now you decide. Should Mark Harris be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? Shit. I don't have a choice. Oh, okay. To choose one. Forgive or condemn. Alright, well. We're going to make this decision in the next episode. I hope you're all enjoying this series. And if you are, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think we should do about Mark? I, By the time this video comes out, I'd already made a choice. But I want to hear what you guys all think. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up on the video. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure you're subscribed to get updates for release new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.